Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths video on Key Stage 5 Differentiating Parametric Equations. Now just to recap what parametric equations are, it's when we have x and y each in terms of some other variable known as a parameter. So in this case we've got x in terms of t and we've got y in terms of t. This is opposed to say a Cartesian equation where you have x and y mixed in one single equation and we're going to see how we can differentiate those to find dy over dx and basically there's only one thing you need to know for this video and it's this. If you want to find the gradient function, the gradient dy over dx, you just do dy over dt, whatever your parameter is, over dx over dt. So that's the only formula you need to remember. And if you think about it, if I had this fraction and I multiply both top and bottom by dt, those would cancel and you would get dy over dx. So that's a good way of remembering this. So let's apply that to this first question. A curve is defined by these parametric equations. We've got y equals t squared, x equals 4t. Now we want to find dy over dx when t is 6. So we need dy over dt and dx over dt. So dy over dt, differentiate this y with respect to t, that becomes 2t. And dx over dt, we'll differentiate 4t with respect to t. We just drop the t and we're left with 4. And that means dy over dx is equal to dy over dt over dx over dt. And that just simplifies to t over 2. Now we want to find this gradient specifically when t is 6. So when t is 6, the gradient will be 6 over 2, which is 3. And now we want to find the equation, the normal to the curve when t is 6. Now, do you remember, to find the equation of a normal or a tangent, we need two things. We need a point on the line and we need the gradient at that point. Now, we've already got the gradient of the line when t is 6, we worked out it was 3, although note that's the gradient of the tangent. So if the gradient of the tangent is 3, then the gradient of the normal would be the negative reciprocal of that, because do you remember the normal is equal to the tangent? Just to recap, if that's your curve and that is the tangent, then the normal is at right angles to that. So it's a kind of line that sticks out of the curve. So if we do the negative reciprocal of 3, we get minus a third. Now we also need to know a point on the line. So when t is 6, we can work out the y and the x. So if t is 6, then sub it into the y to get 6 squared, which is 36. And sub it into x, 4 times 6 is 24. And now we have everything we need to find the equation, this line. So do you remember the equation of a straight line is y minus y1 equals m x minus x1, where the x1, y1 is some fixed point on the line. So we've got y minus y1, the y1 here is 36, equals m, which is minus a third, and we have x minus x1, the x1 here is 24. And there we go, that's the equation of our normal. And this second question here, a curve has these two equations, x is equal to 2 cos t, and y is equal to root 3, cos of 2t. Determine dy over dx in terms of t. So if we differentiate each of these, dx over dt is equal to, differentiate that, you get minus 2 sine t. If we differentiate the y with respect to t, well we times by that 2 here, so it's 2 root 3. But when we differentiate cos, it becomes minus sine, so it's minus sine 2t. And that means dy over dx is dy over dt, which is minus 2 root 3 sine 2t, over dx over dt minus 2 sine t. Now we can simplify this a bit because we can cancel out the minus 2s to give you root 3. And if we use the double angle formula, sine 2t is 2 sine t cos t. So 2 sine t cos t, all over just sine t. Now the sine t's cancel, and we're just left with 2 root 3 cos t. Now part b, the point p lies on c when t is 2 thirds pi. The line l is normal to c at p. 
show that the equation of this normal is that. So, we can find out the gradient, this is the gradient function, when t is equal to 2 thirds pi. So when t is 2 pi over 3, or 2 thirds pi, then the gradient will be 2 root 3 cos of 2 thirds pi. Now I happen to know in my head that that is minus half, so we get minus half times 2 root 3, which simplifies to, well half times 2 is 1, so it's just minus root 3. Now we also need a point. Now this is a gradient of the tangent, so I should have put mt, but we want the gradient of the normal, it talks about the normal, so the gradient of the normal is a negative reciprocal of that, so it becomes positive and it's 1 over that, 1 over root 3. We also need a point on the line when t equals 2 thirds pi. So when t is 2 thirds pi, we've got that x is 2 cos of 2 pi over 3, which is 2 times minus half, if you do that on the calculator, which is minus 1, and y is equal to root 3 cos of 2t, so 2 times 2 thirds pi, which is 4 thirds pi, and if you do that on a calculator, you get minus root 3 over 2, and now we've got everything we need, so let's do y minus y1, but because that's negative, it's y plus root 3 over 2 equals m, so the gradient of our normal, 1 over root 3, and then x minus x1, so x minus minus 1, which is x plus 1. Let's times everything by root 3, because we don't like this over root 3. And let's times everything by 2 as well, so we're going to times everything by 2 root 3. So this becomes 2 root 3 y plus, now if we times this by 2, it gets rid of the over 2, but we're also timesing it by root 3, root 3 times root 3 is 3. Now if we times this initially by root 3, it gets rid of the root 3, but we're also timesing it by 2, so it's 2 brackets x plus 1, and then expand that. And then they've got everything on one side, so let's put everything where the x is positive. We have 2x minus that, so minus 2 root 3 y, and then if we subtract the 3 from that 2, we get minus 1 equal to 0. And that indeed is what we're expecting. Now we've got this final part of the question. If that normal, the line L, intersects the curve again at a point Q, find the exact coordinates of Q. Now, do you remember, when you want to find a point of intersection, you just use the two equations simultaneously, solve them simultaneously. So what are our two equations? We want to see when the line L, with this equation intersects the original curve. Now the original curve had these parametric equations x equals 2 cos t and y equals root 3 cos 2t. Now when you're solving simultaneously parametric equations with a Cartesian equation what you can do is just sub that x and that y into the Cartesian equation. So we've got 2x, so 2 times 2 cos t minus 2 root 3 y, where the y is root 3 cos 2t, minus 1 equals 0. And now we've got a single equation in terms of just t. So let's just simplify this a bit. 4 cos t minus root 3 times root 3 is 3, times the 2 is 6. Now, we don't like this mixture of t and 2t, so we've got to use the double angle formula for cos of 2t. And if you remember from the trig videos or your trig studies elsewhere, cos of 2t can be written as 2 cos squared t minus 1. Remember, there's different double angle formulas for cos of 2t, but we're choosing the one here that gives us the cos of t. So if we just expand out that bracket. We've got minus 12 cos squared t we've got plus 6 minus 1 equals 0. And I'm going to just manipulate this a bit. If I put this all onto the other side to make the cos squared t turn positive, we've got 12 cos squared t. That's going to become negative, so minus 4 cos t. And then we've got the 6 minus 1 is 5, but I've moved it to the other side, so it's minus 5 is 0. Now, can you see that this is just a quadratic in terms of cos t? So for convenience, I'm just going to call cos t u, so let u equals cos t, 
and then I could write this as a quadratic. So it's 12u squared minus 4u minus 5 equals 0. Now we can use the quadratic solve in our calculator. So go to equations, solving a polynomial, degree 2, and we just type in the 12, the minus 4, and the minus 5. And that gives us solutions of u is 5, 6, or u is minus half. But u was equal to cos t, so cos of t is 5, 6, or cos of t is minus half. Now we could find t from these, but can you see that x and y are both in terms of cos of t, or cos of 2t in this case? So we can use these directly to find out x and y. Now if we use this value here, cos of t is 5, 6, that means x will be equal to 2 cos t, so 2 times 5 over 6, which is 10 over 6, which is 5 over 3, and we'll find y in a second. Or if we use this one, x is 2 times cos t, x is 2 times that, which is minus 1. And by the way, if we were to find the t here, if you just do inverse cos of minus half, that gives you 2 thirds pi. Now we certainly know that that normal intersects the curve when t is 2 thirds pi, because that's where we found the normal. So we're interested in this, this other point here, so that's not the one we're interested in. So we just need to find y now. Now, can we get this y in terms of just cos of t, because we know what cos of t is, and yes we can. So y is equal to root 3 cos 2t, which is equal to root 3, and then cos of 2t, double angle formula, is 2 cos squared t minus 1. Well, cos of t is 5 over 6, so we're going to do 2 times 5 over 6 squared, which is 25 over 36, and then just minus 1. And if you put that all in your calculator, and that gives you 7 root 3 over 18. And there we go, we've got the exact one. That's the x is 5 over 3, and the y is 7 root 3 over 18. And we should probably write that as a proper coordinate. So 5 over 3, 7 root 3 over 18. And we are done. That's quite a hard question, that one.